and gentlemen, boat number four is box number three, three minute round. Between the red corner representing the Western Rangers, Chris Alloway. And the blue corner representing the Army, James Allen. Allen in the blue, Alloway in the red. Here we go with uh, one of the most eagerly anticipated bouts of the night, perhaps potentially the bout of the night, uh, Craig, between two uh, very, very talented boxers. Oh, absolutely. Uh, James Allen from the Army, 26 years of age, in England international. Uh, a fit guy, very patient by the looks of things, against the Western County's own Chris Attaway. 20 years of age, 60 bouts, one in 32. Done very, very well in the recent ABA Championships and recently become a dad as well, so congratulations, Chris. Okay, so uh, big challenge for him, but one I'm sure he'll stand up too well. He's made a confident start already against, uh, as, as Craig said, an England international, so he knows he's got a challenge in front of him. Light on his feet, Adway, at the moment, just trying to get the combinations away. Throwing out the jab, up on his toes. Allen goes downstairs with a shot, but uh, Attaway still boxing, going backwards, throwing out those jabs, and now trying to go underneath the guard himself. It's an all-action start from the two of them. Attaway just keeping on the move. Will he be able to dance around like this uh, throughout? Well, wait and see. Well, they both end up on the deck. Just a little bit untidy. So Attaway throws out the jab but gets just caught momentarily by Allen, holding on rather too much. Attaway throws out the jab again, good straight jabs, but uh, Allen gets in on the inside. Take things. Attaway just slowed the pace a little bit. He can't skip and dance as much as he has done all the way through, one suspects. A little combination he throws. And Allen punching in the side. Nice footwork there by Attaway. And uh, ends the uh, first round. And uh, confident performance there by Adaway. Uh, difficult really to uh, to see who was scoring the, the better punches. But uh, Adaway, you know, very comfort comfortable dancing around, keeping out, trying to keep out of the, uh, the way and not being a, an easy target to hit. That's right. Chris boxing superbly well at long range. A little feint there. He's pulling, moving left, shooting right, right hand as he goes. Um, Quite attractive to the eye that one, that's Boxing 101. Um, fantastic so far at long range. Intriguing bout, and as much as the Army guy hits hard, he's hitting with force when he does. However, Chris's work rate at the moment, I think, took that round for him, but it was incredibly narrow, and it'd uh, be great to see what round two and three uh, has in store for us. Yeah, so uh, can Attaway keep the, uh, the pace going, or will the uh, the body shots, the harder shots from uh, James Allen start to slow him down a little bit. We'll find out now as we commence round number two. Nice 
nicely turned there. Hadaway, get that jab going again, throws the right hand, good little combination. Turns nicely again. Still boxing nicely. Still on the move all the time, boxing on the retreat, and uh, he knows that Allen's just coming at him inexorably. Eventually, he's going to catch him with something, but maybe Adaway can outscore him with the uh, the jabs. And the referee getting literally right in the heart of the action there. Oh, and Adaway shipped one there, and now the body punch is raining in, but he's. Protecting himself well, got, took a lot of those on the arms and comes back with some ammunition of his own. So brave effort by Adaway, just for the first time in the fight, got him a little difficulty and there he is again in some more difficulty, but a low blow. And uh, saved from worse punishment by the, uh, the referee. Just getting caught a little bit more in this uh, second round, Craig. That's right, silence of time, this is set in. Um, Chris, though, superb full cover there from him. Very few, very, very few of those shots are actually getting through if you look, Knight. This arms and again low, again low. My apologies, very unprofessional for shouting. Um, but uh, if memory serves, they, they tend to hurt a bit down there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so uh, the uh, army boy got away with a couple there. This time it's uh, keep the head up. Add away. Just finding what's coming at him a little bit more difficult to cope with at the moment. And the body shot's raining in again. Trying to keep that elbow tight down to protect the ribs. Oh, and a beautiful left hand on... Beautiful left hand off the ropes by Adaway. And now goes downstairs himself. And that's a really good counter-attack by uh, the Mayflower boxer. Great shot selection there from Chris. Jab, right hand, left hook under the elbow to the body. Fantastic. It looks as though he's under pressure, but he's actually boxing very well under that pressure. And that's, uh, for someone of his years, that's, that's, that's a great thing there. Um, I know a few tricks, these army boys, is what I'm going to say. I'm just thinking that, yeah. Um, but uh, as I say, another great round from Chris. Um, army boxer doing the right thing, walking him down, trying to take the movement away, trying to take the legs away. Uh, they are so phenomenally strong, but Chris has got the tactics right. Steve Garwin in the corner in the Mayflower coach and uh, Western County's coach educator will be telling him to keep it on the move, keep it on the move. We're nearly just a round to go. If we can sustain it, he's in with a great chance. Yeah, and that was just great, the, mo the way he was under severe pressure on that rope, wasn't he? And he just turned away and then came back with three, four, five punches of his own. It was a real, a real lesson in turning defence into attack. That's right. It's almost kind of playing possum, you know? Yeah. Thinking, oh, he's got you got it. No, you've not. You switched it around and completely turned the guy. Full sense of security a little bit. The army man uh, read it quite well, took the shots very well. But uh, if I was going to tell one of our young people how to switch the attack, the jab right and the left hook from Chris Adebay uh, would, would be what I'd show them just then. Yeah, no, it was excellent. Really good. So, uh, he's got plenty to, uh, to go for in this Third and final round, three threes. Chris Attaway in the red against James Allen in the blue. England International, remember, the uh, the army boxers. So this is no easy contest at all for Attaway by any stretch of the imagination. A vastly more experienced boxer. And he takes one there and takes a knee as well. Just caught on the chin. It's a shame because uh, he's done so well up till now. Just a one punch that did it. And now he's back in that corner again. Now we've got to see what Chris Hadaway has got in reserve. He's just under an awful lot of pressure. And Alan's experience coming to the fore now as he really just tries to smother Hadaway with uh, the attacks. 
and now he's really unleashing and the contest just moving away from Adaway who hasn't got time to do anything other than defend just at the moment. So takes an eight count. So Alan using all those year, extra years, six years older, those, that ex, extra experience to manoeuvre Adaway into a position from which he presumably can't win. And Adaway gets his arm caught underneath the top rope and then on the come back in, he's caught on the by a, a right hook and then another low blow Adaway is complaining of. But uh, that's a protection count. The, the standard thing with a low blow is a protection count to begin with. And then he'll be given his uh, chance to... Well, 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 well. He stopped it. Um, yes, he has. He stopped it on a low blow. Um, not quite sure what to make of that. Blue hits red with a low blow. Alloway in the red corner is a winner. Blue has been disqualified. 